can't see her! Married David, code three on suspects. Nice to see you. Get out. How's your day? Hope everything's good. Blessings to you. Uh, we as people, or we as Christians, mainly, we are people, but we need to know what we are fighting. If we don't know what we're fighting, we will lose. Spike in violent crime around the city, uh, especially with uh, carjackings, on Sunday alone, New Orleans police responded to a wave of six carjackings and other robberies. Joining us now with more on that and ways you can not be a victim of crime is, uh, is uh, Darlene Casanza with Crime Stoppers. Uh, first of all, a lot of these crimes, especially some of these carjackings, have happened in broad daylight in neighborhoods you would not expect it to happen. Absolutely, um, Eric. It, it is very alarming. I mean, we have, traditionally, when we talk about carjackings, it was you hear things about bump, you know, people bumping the um, back of your car while you're driving in kind of isolated um, intersections. But now we're hearing more brazen acts. It is happening. Actually, most carjackings happen within five miles of your home. But we are hearing these in driveways, and we're certainly hearing about those in um, um, business parking lots. And I think the important thing for us to remember is when we look at the victims, too, of these carjackings, in over 95 percent, it's a single adult in that car. So they are definitely targeting individuals that look like an easy target. Um, in most carjackings, they, they're there just to take the car. They're there to take your car and either just go for a joyride or use it in another crime and then dump the car. Well, and, so and Dar what? Darlene, in, in this one, uh, the, the one we're seeing where, where the man's truck was stolen, uh, he was pistol whipped by these guys. Yes, he was. And, you know, well, we, I mean, there were three individuals with guns. So, you know, we're going to tell we, you. First as Christians, we're always fighting demons, demons in our government, demons in our life. Right now, the government is letting in immigrants. And right now they're letting in immigrants in droves. Doubled, doubled those coming into our county and uh, along the southwest border. So do they all have rapid tests with them and are uh, they wearing masks? Uh, no, they're not. And, uh, and what's alarming on this, Brian, is you look back in 2019, people ask, well, why do we need a secure border? This political theater that's being played out is scary to all of us on the southwest border, sheriffs, police departments, and our uh, federal partners, and every American should be standing up on this. Because in 2019, we had 141 countries breach our southwest border, 1,100 gang members from representing 20 different countries. Then you go back and look at the 3,500 children that are being exploited by the cartels as a fraud, 61 fraud families. I can go on, 822 assaults on federal agents. It just goes back to show you how... Many of them are thieves and bad people that the Christians, we need to worry about. You got two dozen countries that, are, have a, that President Biden has reacted a travel ban on, but you're allowing our southern border. You know, one thing that bothers me as a sheriff serving 37 years on the southwest border is the fact that the lessons of the past continue to be played out in Congress, uh, through the presidency, it's political theater. When President Trump was president, with everything that's going on, I tell you, we had a very positive, proactive relationship with President Trump at the table to work out community issues. Police chiefs and sheriffs are experts of communities. Our federal government is supposed to be experts of national security and border security. Together, that's a recipe of success for every American. And what I'm seeing now is we're going to go back in time and play this political theater at the backs and the risk of all of every American. You told me in the break 
that they stopped making the they stopped putting up the wall yesterday. You got 20 something miles. 82 would finish it. We've already paid for it. What is your message to Washington? Is it working? Do you need more? We do. Th this was a positive uh, protection for our county, for America, all along the southwest border, as my sheriffs in Texas, sheriffs in uh, Yuma and California. It's working. And to halt that is hasty. And again, I, I've said it now, it's political theater being played out at the backs of America. It, it's sad, Brian. And I'm telling you, we've been down this road before. I don't know why we can't look in the past and find balance in our processes, our programs, and stop this madness. So it's not really going to be able to be stopped because the government is giving out so many handouts. So be prepared. start? Who would I speak with? India is a black hole. Forget about patient zero. I can't do that. It's too late for me to build a wall. I'm running out of time. I need specifics. I need answers. I, I don't have answers. All you can do is find a way to hide. Of thieves coming in so you got to be prepared watch look at your surroundings be totally prepared every day don't let your guard down many blessings to everybody